Hello guys, let me show you a quick overview of our new project Quick Admin Panel which is at quickadminpanel.com Let me show you how it works from scratch. So I register here uh, test name uh, whatever is the email test password uh, okay and I register here and then I can create my admin panels for now, no admin panel is created yet. Let me show you how it works further. I can name my project, whatever my project, let me my project, create. And then I can create the admin panel internal stuff, which is called CRUD. Uh, CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. And we can create a new CRUDs, which basically will be new menu items on the left. So for example, I want to create CRUD for companies, right? Companies with editable fields of company name. Uh, the required field, then I have to uh, choose the validation and whether that field will be in the list and create and in edit view. I can add more columns like, uh, actually let's change to email. Email address comment is optional. Email let it be optional. Um, some long text description about company. Uh, you see, editor now uh, optional. I save crud. See on the left, there's a new menu item called companies. So now I can create companies. Uh, test name. Uh, email actually email is optional so I can skip that yep see uh, and then I can edit that uh, I can add email after all whatever is here yep I can add more companies another company and here we have data tables.net so the search works immediately you can delete the entry and this is how it works. So you create CRUD after CRUD, uh, get back to CRUD Builder, and you can do two things here. View files, view the generated files for Laravel. It will open a new, uh, new tab in your browser, which is not doesn't look really fancy for now, since it's in first version, but you can actually view all the files, uh, all the migrations for that, for the company, so for example, that's company edit, that's company index, so you can basically copy that if you want, copy the text to, to your project, or uh, download the whole project. So there's a button called download files, which will basically download the archive for you. Now let me show you how that archive works on your local machine. I'm working on Mac, uh, so probably it will be a little different on Windows or any other operating system. But let me show you how it works for me. So I have the archive here, as you can see. I unarchive that, and I copy all those files to a folder I have already prepared for that. That's, I have an empty folder here, uh, which is linked to my homestead already, and it will work. So I have Q1. Uh, let me open that Q1 in PHP store. Actually, it's already opened. So for that to work, uh, there's a readme file, by the way. Readme file. Uh, that's what you have to do, basically. Uh, you have to create .env file. To help you, we have configureme.env, so you can use that. So for example, I will create, I will edit that to my own. Credentials. I have an empty database prepared called Q1 as well. Uh, and let's save that as .env. Okay, we're good to go. Now we go to command line, which I already have prepared. Uh, I'm already in Q1 folder and I run composer install. That should be quick because it's loading everything from the cache and I run artisan migrate with seed to have first user. Actually, what's that? Create, all right, I haven't emptied the database from the previous test. I'll do that now. Yep, 
and now it should be good. Yep, I've created all the tables here, and there you go. So you have uh, Laravel uh, stuff by default. Uh, you have one user, uh, you have migrations, you have the companies that we have created. And then you go to your browser. I have already configured the domain name, uh, which you can do in your homestead or whatever environment you use. And you just log in as admin at admin com with password password. There you go. You have your admin panel. You have dashboard with view. You can show whatever you want here, and you can have companies. You can add it. The same thing, that's your local machine, that's not uh, the web, that's not quickadminpanel.com, that's your local machine. So that's the result. You can download your admin panel. Uh, that's that's basically how it works. Uh, we can uh, discuss how to improve the project. That's only alpha or beta version, whatever you call it for now. For now it's free for testing. Uh, let me know how it works for you. You can uh, find me at... Uh, Bogalus at uh, daily, uh, sorry, Bogalus at LaravelDaily.com. That's my email, and uh, let's let's see how it goes from here.